Hey nerds, happy homebrew Wednesday. Uh, I should be brewing today. It's actually Wednesday. I fully had planned to brew beer today, uh, but it's too goddamn windy. Um, the wind outside is, is ridiculous, like 25 miles an hour, and it's whipping like right along my little my little patio. So uh, we're postponing. Uh, maybe tomorrow. The wind is supposed to die down some tomorrow, so we'll see. Um, we are uh, going to do a little bit of a weird brew day, um, a barley-less beer. Um, we're going to do a beer that is all wheat, basically wheat base malt, uh, rye, and... Uh, oats with a little bit of caramel rye. If anybody's tried caramel rye, that's cool. I've never tried it before. Um, so I'm hoping it's, I don't know, it seems like maybe a 60 Love a Bond uh, crystal malt. I tasted it. It doesn't taste particularly sweet, so it's going to be interesting to see kind of what it does. Um, you know, regular, you know, like a, like a crystal 60 barley tastes sweet. This crystal rye doesn't. So be interesting. I also bought this crystal wheat um, from Farmhouse. There's weird malts I've never used before, so uh, I don't know. I'll find something to do with them. And then uh, I decided that I'm gonna I'm gonna try and throw down this this barleyless beer. Um, for uh, I'll get into the whole. I'll get into it tomorrow when I actually brew it. But um, what I am gonna do a little beer review. Um, we're gonna do a beer review of Wally Fex Blueberry Black IPA. So here it is. You can tell by what by the label that's what's in the bottle. Nice hiss off the top. I don't get a lot of smoke. Um, full disclosure, I had reviewed Wally's Blueberry Black IPA and deleted the video. So uh this here's a reenactment. Cheers, Wally. Sorry I deleted the video, dude. Oh, I should have done the aroma first. Hold on. Let me think. Aroma. Blueberries. You get a really fruity... It's almost like uh, the hops have faded off of this beer. Um, because it's, I don't know, it's three months old maybe. Um, but you really get a fruitiness from it, but it's not like a, it's not a hoppy fruitiness. It's definitely like a more earthy uh, fruitiness. I really, I really dug the aroma of it. Um, so anyway, cheers. Let's get into it. You get a little bit of roast right off the front, but then you get this cool uh, blueberry note that really rounds out the back of this beer. Um, it's, it was it was a really, man, it's a super cool beer. It was so good. Um, and I found the more I drank it, the more you didn't even really miss the hops in it. It would have been super cool to try one super fresh and then aged um, because I didn't miss the hops a ton. It would have been cool if they were there because I think it would have added a little a level of, uh, of something on top of that fruitiness. But it, you didn't need it. I mean, the hop flavor was still there to a degree, but then it's just a super cool round, um, round in the back. There was no harshness from the dark malts. Um, and I find myself kind of pounding through this, uh, this glass of blueberry black IPA. So much to the point that I think, if I know my dude Wally, this isn't like a 4% beer. So I have the note that Wally sent me with his beers uh, on, a, on a magnet on the fridge over there. So reenactment time, I ran over to the fridge. We run back, only to find out this is a 10% black IPA. Doesn't taste it at all. Like the only thing, that, like I got warm. When I drank it, which made me think, hmm, if 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 my if my chest is getting warm but my mouth isn't, either I don't know there's something wrong with me or this is this beer hides its booze incredibly well, which is absolutely the case. Um, this thing does not taste like a ten percent beer. It totally hides the alcohol completely. Um, I don't know how you didn't get completely fucking wrecked on that beer um especially fresh man if 
if the mosaic, like if I can just kind of use my brain and insert the mosaic on top of this kind of chocolatey blueberry thing that was happening, it would have been fucking spectacular. But even without that, what I'm tasting here is uh, a really, really good beer, Wally. That, uh, that's right up there with the Shakespeare Stout, man. Um, evidently, whatever you're doing with dark beers is working like it's magic, man. Uh, that Shakespeare Stout was spectacular. The Blueberry Black IPA is fucking unreal. So uh, keep, keep it up. I don't know if you got to like... Get a bunch of drums and just bodily, you know, you maybe just need to move water from the old house to the new house. I don't know. Um, oh, man, this blueberry black IPA going right to my head. Yeah, other than that, uh, finished up a weekend up in the north woods of Wisconsin. Uh, drinking some good cheap beer. Uh, we, we polished off of quite a few PBRs and... Actually, quite a few hams as well. We committed some atrocities against beer that will be trickling out onto the internet over time. Um, I believe the KBS review is up today, and yeah, alternative glassware. That's that's this is where you come for alternative glassware ideas. So if anybody's not subscribed to to Aaron, uh, I'm not going to put a link because. You can just type up in the top right above my head, probably right here-ish. Um, Aaron Gross, just like it sounds. Uh, Aaron, two A's, space, gross, like, ew. Um, he's, gonna, he's got all the video. So uh, the KBS review video went up today. That is a really good beer. Um, probably, it's probably too good of a beer to be, to be uh, treated the way it was, but... It really, man, that's a that's a good one. I haven't had that in a few years, and I might have to actually seek it out next year on uh, KBS Day because, man, that was good. Anyway, that's pretty much all I got. I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, finish this blueberry black IPA. I should have written. Hold on, we'll just put on here. Ten damn percent ABV. It's craziness. Anyway, Wally, dude, you're killing it with the beers. Uh, I got a couple more to get into. Uh, I think I have the Hickory Brown, and uh, maybe that's it. Maybe the Hickory Brown's the only one I haven't drank. Um, but I don't know what you're doing with dark beers, but teach me the ways, my, my man, because those are two of the best, uh, it's maybe the best stout I've ever had. Honestly, that Shakespeare style was ridiculous. And uh, the Blueberry Black IPA, man, you should put that on full-time rotation at your house because that little fucking Friday experiment that turned into that beer, that's uh, that's some genius shit right there. That's why Fuck It Friday was invented. Um, the mad scientist just, you sometimes you hit and you get an idea and, and then boom, you've got a ridiculous beer that is so good. Anyway, happy on brew Wednesday, nerds. Uh, I'll get back at you when, uh, when it's not too fucking windy outside and we'll brew some beer. Anyway, well, cheers, nerds. Cheers. Love you guys. Yandu. Black IPA. It looks like a...